guys, it's Kitty Cat Kims Gaming, and today I am making a informative kind of video. So basically, in the comments, I've been getting questions on my speed skin videos on how I create speed skins, and just basically how to use the website that I use, which is the Skindex. Now, I use the Skindex because I like just the editor, and I just like how it's set up and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, let's just get started. So, what you guys been wondering is how to edit skins to use them for yourself so I'm at the home page and we're just gonna look for a skin that we can use to edit for ourselves now you can use any type of skin you want here and you just basically have to let's just say select this skin for example and uh, yeah all you would need to do is press edit skin if you would like to edit that said skin or add to wardrobe if you have your own account as you can see there's mine um, if you wanted to download the skin, then you can press the download button and then upload to Minecraft. It's pretty straightforward. You just upload, it'll take you to minecraft.net and you just log in and then you go upload it to, from your profile and it should work. Now, if you guys are wondering how to make your own skin, what I usually start out with when I make my speed skin videos is since I'm not very good at making hair yet. I typically search something like hair base and that should bring up a whole bunch of different skin bases yes I know some of them are full and like already done but that's because people put that down just so like more people can be attracted to their skins or like see them and be like oh my god that's so cool but typically you just have to narrow down your searches and say different things like for example I could go type in uh, pink hair base and when I do that and then has that I get a whole bunch of different hair bases and typically they do have the skin already done like the skin tone and stuff like that um yeah you could get different definitions but typically I just used to like I like to use the solid color bases um now we're going to look at a skin and just think of something to make like I like this hair so let's just say, oh yeah, we found this skin and we want to edit the skin now. So then the page brings us to the skin editor and the skin editor is actually very easy to use. What you do is you just drag with your mouse and you can turn it in any way, shape, or form. And you can click away different body parts to do those things, look at different areas of the body and just, you know, edit it like that. And you can take over take off anything, blah blah blah, and the overlay, you can take that off, and then it'll take away the grid, the overlay has her front hair part done, so, yeah, this is basically, like, this is pretty self-explanatory, um, if you wanted to edit the color, you just have to drag here, choose the shade of the color on the scale, the, on, like, yeah, that thingy. And then if you wanted to, let's say I liked the color of the her eyes. And let's just say we liked the color of her eyes, but we kind of wanted to change them because they're a little too clo close to her hair color. And we say we wanted to make them darker. Then we just simply press this tool, click on the, the color you would like to match. And then if we wanted to make it darker, we just drag it down and simply, whoops, and if we make a mistake, press the back button. And just simply click where you want to put the pixels. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, guys. Um, you should be able to make your own skins this way, design them however you'd like, and just be creative with the skins you come up with. Um, there's a whole bunch of skins to choose from in the top and latest. If you want to search for a specific skin or skin creator, then you press author. If you'd like to search skin uh, for specific skin, uh, click skin. For specific authors like me that you want to search for, click author. And um, yeah, so there's the editor. Then you can upload different skins you've already created from different websites. And uh, yeah. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helped you out a lot to figure out how to use the skin editor 